not mini, midi CNC. Where is that? Is that the one that Johnny's work, working with? No, the other one I got. Oh, the one you ordered? Remember you were like, there's a big package. Yeah, it's still still over here in the mail room. Oh, it's still out here? Still outside. Oh, yeah. What? Put them on a card. What do you want it? Over by Bennett's area is where we're gonna put it. Okay. I think, oh. I believe. That's the plan. Okay. Ooh! Ooh. Pick Ooh. <laughs> we'll put all this stuff here anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, your table is full height now. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> what is that fucking? <laughs> 20 million dollar company. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fucking work, man. Whatever you know works. What? It took us like seven minutes. Yep. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Got another CNC. I think we're in line for a Bennett Johnny buddy episode. <laughs> I don't think it's very big. Maybe we'll make another high quality table to put it on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw a stack of pallets outside. Do <laughs> you want us to start on it? Yeah. Do you, have, do you have time? Sure. Let's go make something <laughs> janky. We just cut some new plywood. Bennett's going to um, secure all that. And I'm starting on the fun stuff, the directions. It's going to take all day. It could take a little while. It looks like it's going to take a while. I think so. But hey, there's pictures. We can follow pictures. Yeah, right? Right? We'll see what happens. System. So we've installed the gantry, uh, which moves the router on the x-axis. I think we're pretty close. Think you're gonna try and cut tomorrow? I think, uh, yeah, I think Bennett will be up and cutting tomorrow. All right, you feel satisfied? No, I'm never satisfied. We don't need no satisfaction. We don't need no self-control. Say, it might be satisfaction. I'm pretty sure it's education. Oh, and, yeah. and don't need no education, control. thought control, yes. There we yeah. go. <laughs> I'm like notorious for not knowing lyrics. <laughs> Bennett! What? Leave those kids alone. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. No, no. Sorry, I know I cheated, I started. I'm You're like, so impatient, I Johnny. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to do a circle and it just completed it. Cool. It cuts. It does cut, but can it cut more faster than this one? Way more faster. I actually don't even know what the horsepower is on that. If I had to guess, this is probably a one horsepower. What does it say? Definitely more than that. You know what we should try? What's that? If we could get the same program of the cup holder that we tried to cut on the other one, leave it all the same and try and cut it with this one. Here we go. Here's the modular cup holder program. There it is. I'll have to get a blank for it, and yeah, then maybe. I won't start it <laughs> until I get you. All right. Jesus, Bennett. Woo! Please tell me there was like four people's orders in here. No. <laughs> what are we cutting? We are attempting to cut cup holders. What I've done is adaptive clearing, so it'll actually remove all of the excess material. How's okay. it stay clamped then? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cut right through all your clamps, bro. Astute observation. <laughs> Maybe we'll double side tape. Maybe try the double side tape? I think it would work. 
Adam, perfect timing. So how are you referencing that on this chat? What does that mean? I can explain it as best as I understand it. So we're able to manually set the coordinate systems for those big machines mm -hmm. based off the machine. <laughs> so now it's going to touch off. So the machine has initialized, and what I'm going to do is load the program that we're going to run. Modular cup holder, vacuum on. I'm the only one over here without glasses. <laughs> Nailed it. Here we go. Let's do it. A little longer than a few minutes later. That's it. That's it, baby. So that's it right there. Almost lost the glasses. Yeah, take it. No champers yet, but. Oh, that cup is so off. I centered it as best I could. Not that bad. Listen, what I'm looking at is how thin this is compared to that. Oh, I would yeah. have evened these out when I positioned this. It's yeah. hard to grab any reference point along these curves because they're not like a set curve. Sure, use your eyes. <laughs> no, I mean like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck. I just love heckling everybody that I actually care about, so don't worry about it. Oh, uh, The finish is actually really good. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. Which is very impressive if you know anything about working with wood. I don't, and I'm still impressed. Let's talk about bits. That that's went for 20 minutes straight. On the big CNC's, that's fine. The bits are made for that. But these things are tiny. You're right, like the CNC's, the big ones, they run all day. I know on one of the machines, they switched over to diamond encrusted tooling. So that's like the but most- But these aren't little diamond bits. No, these are solid carbide. You have like high speed steel, which like drill bits are typically made out of. You have solid carbide, which this is. Yep. which is a bit more of a brittle material, but it's harder, it stays sharper longer. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It's more brittle, but it's harder. What is stiff is actually not the strongest. So like high speed steel would probably bend where this would snap, but this would stay sharper for longer. Like Got it would hold it. the edge better. Okay. Adam was asking some crazy question. He was wondering if, it, if we were using an upcut bit. What the fuck is an upcut bit? You know, like it's got six flutes <laughs> and a trombone. It gets in the weeds a little bit. So this is a two flute bit. So it's got one flute on one side and another flute on the other side. That is what helps dissipate the chips in addition to keeping the tool cool. So the little like channel yep. is referred to as a flute. Yes. Basically as this cuts, it pushes material through the flute and up out of whatever you're cutting. And so they're cut in different directions? So yeah, your three types typically it's up cut, down cut, and compression. You can mount a router like this, um, like I was actually just doing, but also you use routers like this and you plunge into your material. So depending on what surface or what side you're cutting from, you might want the direction of the flutes to be different. For example, if we're cutting from this side, you can actually see that it's the direction of the flutes going up. So as I cut this way, that flute is turning in the up position. And it's gonna leave a cleaner edge because it's essentially cutting in that direction. Nice. But that's basically the things that you consider. It's, you know, what side am I approaching from? What side are chips being expelled from? What surface do I want to maybe be cleaner than the other? Yeah. And then what was even more confusing you is Adam was talking about how the number of flutes per bit. Yeah. This was a two flute. How many flutes can you have? How many flutes can a flute, flute, flute? <laughs> uh, I think they basically max out at three. Probably okay. depends on the diameter of your tooling. Typically the more flutes the better because on every rotation there's more cutting surfaces contacting the workpiece. More little tiny cuts. I think the term's chip load per tooth. And hey, I'm still generally new at this i've routed a lot of stuff so i get the concepts yeah but in terms of how many flutes do you want for this material what's your speed and your feed rate i am a little new to this i think yeah. we covered it anything you want to add uh not that i can think of all right, all right so bits, <laughs> bits bits and bits the following day oh johnny boy what up brother the flutes the flutes are calling is that a danny boy thing yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know the song. I know the That's melody. That's the only part of it I know. <laughs> All right, we got the machine up and running. What are we cutting? We're cutting a card tile. 
Ooh, okay. Because Adam thought it would kind of be the easiest. Mm. This is gonna do the slots. All right, I'm tight. So this yeah. is an upcut bit, so you can see that on its first pass, some of those fibers lifted a little. Yeah. That's because that direction's pulling them up. Yeah. If I had a down cut bit, that'd probably be a much cleaner cut. The teeth of the bit are kind of pulling the fibers down. Oh, I see. That might be one of those scenarios where you If it says 13,000 RPM, I'm actually going to slow that down a tad bit. We have one more tool change. We're going to finalize the uh, shape around the outside. We're going to raise that speed up again. And you can see how that looks chattery down there, right? We still got a little bit of chatter on one of our faces. Some clean, some not as clean. Maybe I should have left more material to take off on this slot when the bit came out, but for the most part, this looks pretty dang good. Yeah, oh, hey, hey, speaking of. Wow, that came out really good. Thoughts. In comparison to how they normally look, because you've seen a ton of these. It looks good to me. It doesn't have all that fuzziness that's usually in the card slots. Oh, hey, I'm mm -hmm. working on that. Yeah. <laughs> the cup holes are a little bit fuzzier than they normally come off, but mm. that's not an annoying thing to fix. Yeah, the yeah. card slots is an annoying thing to fix. Uh, so. yeah. <laughs> we did okay for our first card tile. Nice. And sure, all around. <laughs> Bennett! Oh, oh. <laughs>